Hey guys, Professor Chafin, welcome back. Sorry I haven't put out a video in a while. We've been very, very busy. Um, I know the upcoming turkey season is upon us. Uh, we're actually going to be going out to some events here in a couple weeks and hopefully provide you all a good show there. But today's pretty interesting because I have a student, medical student coming today and uh, I'm just going to run down uh, with you guys some of the things we do here at the office. We, uh, of course, we have the clinic in school here, but uh, I came in this morning, and of course, uh, when I come in in the morning, I have to turn on everything, uh, get everything ready. Also, have patients today, and uh, what I did was I went on QuickBooks and entered in uh, all the receipts. Uh, those of you that run your own clinics and practices, it's crucial. Uh, that anything that pertains to your business that you buy for your business or your practice or your clinic that you enter those receipts in. QuickBooks is a great program for that. I love QuickBooks for that purpose. However, when keeping track of money, when you run cards, uh, I've had better luck with Square. So that's just my personal opinion. QuickBooks is great. Uh, one thing I do not like about QuickBooks is um, once you get locked out of the system, it is a bear to get back on the system. You have to go through these different protocols in order to get through, which I guess is a good, good for safety, but Square does the same thing, but just not as on an intense level. And you can still swipe your cards and get your money. So um, I use QuickBooks to keep track of the receipts, patient scheduling, uh, when I actually run the money. Uh, I, I use Square, so uh, and there's other great programs out there that just works best for us. So anyway, uh, got a student coming, and uh, back here, of course, is the classroom. So we kind of merge the classroom in with the clinic. Um, when I teach, um, doing my second master's degree, my teachers taught me always have the uh, agenda on the board, so. Have an agenda on the board, that's just for this weekend. So, teaching this student today and tomorrow. She actually graduates uh, tomorrow. And this is a student from Ohio, and I love all my Ohio students. I'm glad I'm on the Ohio Medical Board. Uh, there's a lot to uh, being on any type board, especially the Ohio Medical Board. They're very strict, but it's made me a better professor, uh, and I appreciate that. So uh, one thing I want to talk about today is about hair removal. You may be thinking, well, what is the best way to remove your hair? Well, I'll tell you, if you have dark hairs, it's best to start with laser. Of course, we have a simple diode laser. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. Laser typically only works good with um, dark hairs. Uh, I've had some of my students tell me IPL worked on their blonde hairs. And some of my students told me IPL worked on their red hairs, and I had one student told me that Alexandra worked on her red hairs, but those were the only ones. Typically, laser only works on the black, dark hairs. So the way I teach my students is it's best to offer laser and electrolysis. Couple them together. It's just best to work together in this world, I guess. So what I would do if I had a patient that had dark hairs... I would probably sell them a package of anywhere from six to eight uh, laser treatments and then finish them up with electrolysis. With a few pesky hairs, maybe the laser doesn't take care of. And this, of course, is the new Apolis, the Excel Pro. So it uses picosecond technology. That's probably the best practices, and that's the way I've taught it the last few years. Of course, you guys know that I'm the professor that developed the first standardized medical laser core content curriculum. I actually had to patent that because now colleges and universities and schools are taking, stealing my stuff and not paying me for it. I'm fine with them using it, but I'm actually entitled to royalties from that, so uh, I'm kind of doing my own investigation. So anyway, that's just a rundown on best practices uh, for getting rid of hair medically. Um, you can never guarantee anybody. Once you start your practice, you can't say, well, I can you know, never shave again or it'll, it'll, it'll never come back that's false. It's not true. 
uh, laser is deemed permanent hair reduction, and electrolysis is deemed permanent hair removal by the FDA. Both have their positive. Laser super fast. The laser really only targets the dark hair. Electrolysis is not easily performed, so it targets every hair color. So that's, there's positives and negatives to both. That's why here in our practice we combine both. So that's just a rundown, guys, and uh, probably post this video uh, to both uh, Make Do and uh, YouTube channel and the Grass Electrolysis Laser Skin Care Clinic because it's both educational and entertaining hopefully and uh, we're going to be offering tattoo removal and I actually use I uh, don't have that laser here I actually have to rent that laser but uh, we're going to be offering tattoo removal uh, using the Qterra Enlighten which uses picosecond technology so most lasers take anywhere from 8 to 12 treatments to get rid of a tattoo uh, the Qterra Usually I can take care of a tattoo within four to six treatments, usually. So less suffering from the patient and better for everyone. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you um, viewing this show. Sorry I haven't put out a video in a while. We've just been super busy with everything. But just wanted to give you a rundown of, you know, what we do here. And uh, if you want to book an appointment, you can go to bgskincare.com book an appointment there just click on the calendar and just allow 72 hours to get back with you if you want to be a medical student medical slash cosmetology student I guess that we've combined them both you go to celllaser.org which is s-s-e-l-a-s-e-r dot org and you just click apply at the top of the screen and I should get your application within two or three days and we can so anyway, guys, appreciate the love, appreciate everything you do, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Allison. Yo. What do you got to say to the YouTubers? Happy Sunday. We're working. Happy Sunday. Okay, guys, so we've got a graduating student today, too. This is Chelsea. She's our student. Tell YouTubers hi, Chelsea. Hi. So Chelsea's been a student for about a year with us, so we're going to graduate her today. Break time for my student and watching the UK game. And we're four points ahead. I don't know if you can see it for the quality of the picture. But yeah, uh, trying to have a game on for my patients too when you come in. We had some patients, so. In your waiting room, if you can have a TV up. A lot of waiting rooms have drugs coming across. We usually have the game on our TV or um, something to do with comedy. <laughs> So hold up your thing. Okay, on the count of three. One, two. That's good. Huh? All right, so just a big congratulations, guys, to Miss Chelsea. She's getting her diploma today. She's completed 765 hours of training in cosmetic therapy. So we just want to say congratulations. What are you going to do now, Chelsea? <laughs> Celebrate. Are you going to Disney World? No. Okay, not, not going. Yet. Okay, not yet. yet. <laughs> okay, so anyway, she's worked really hard. We're really super proud of her, and she'll she'll do a great job uh, on the board test and as a future electrologist. Hopefully, she'll come back and take laser from us.